Hey everybody, this is John Lamazny, and tonight I am going to record a screencast <clears throat> using Inkscape in order to wrap text around a can. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to import an image of a can. And I happen to have found one on the internet of a Campbell's tomato soup can. When we're done with it, you won't be able to tell that it's a Campbell's tomato soup can. And the way that I'm going to do that is by creating a rectangle that is exactly the size and shape of the label. Right? So I'm going to make this bright white and I'm also going to make that rectangle a path so that I can edit the shape of it. So I'm going to take the corners and align them with that classic red label. And the only problem with this is that it is obviously flat. And an easy fix for this is to create a gradient from bright white to gray. You see that this node on the gradient is uh, currently and by default transparent and it's showing the uh, Campbell soup can through it. I'm going to make that gray and now it looks as though we have a piece of paper wrapping the can. I can see some of the label creeping out. So I'm going to fix that right now. So, as a matter of fact, uh, what I may do is go to my gradient tool, add a stop very close to this edge, and choose something very close to white on this edge. So now we have a very papery shape going on. I'm going to zoom right in close and align that very, very closely with the label. And do the same thing on the other side. Again, aligning it very, very closely. Do the same thing in this corner. too much of a curvature there. And I just hit 5 on my keyboard as indicated there. I'm going to zoom out to select my entire can. I'm going to size it down a bit. I really don't need it as big as it is. Uh, what you see here is the page peeking out. In fact, I'm going to go into my document settings, which you'll see here, and set my border to the top of the drawing. 
There we go. Very nice. Now, I'm going to take some text. Uh, I'm going to say something on the edge of this can. Let's say uh, this is some soup. And I'm going to make it fairly large. I'm going to select all of the text and take the line spacing down to, I'll say, 1.0. Size it down just a bit. Oops. Careful not to select your label, but rather the text. Now I'm going to go further. I'm going to tighten this up even more down to uh, 0.8 line spacing so that it's very tight. I'm going to bring it down <clears throat> to about the center of that. And this is not horrible, in fact. But what I want to do is I want to center the text and then curve it slightly, very slightly, so that it appears as though it is wrapping along with this label. In order to do that, I need to convert the text into a path. And I want to make it into a single path, which requires what's called a union operation in the path menu. So if I go to path union, now it is no longer text. It is 184 nodes of path in layer one. And the beautiful thing about that is now I can go into path, path effects, and add a path effect, which I could not do if it was still text. I'm going to choose envelope deformation. And what that allows me to do is to affect the top, right, bottom, and left sides. And in fact, I don't even want to affect the left and right paths. I want to affect just the top and the bottom. The top, in fact, I'm going to curve like so. And the bottom, I'm going to curve like so until the lines are uh, fairly straight. In case you want to check your lines for straightness, you can bring a guide over out of the uh, ruler and check for that linear element. If you want to increase the size, you can do that now. I'm going to do a control shift and resize. And I could also, let's say, duplicate that with a control D. And make the duplicate gray and move it down below the other text to give it a little bit of uh, depth in, as though it is popping off of the can. That's a nice effect. So at any rate, um, I hope that this helps you in the event that you ever want to curve some text around an object uh, using Inkscape. This is how I would do that. And I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.